and welcome back to my playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4 as Czechoslovakia. Uh, we are now staring down the barrel of Germany, who is working on the Anschluss. Now, traditionally he goes after s demand Sudetenland pretty early, if not right after that. So, we might only have a couple of months, but um, if you pray to any divine beings that you may believe in, uh, maybe we might get some uh, extra time. Okay, well we finished the focus that allows us to... Do we have the... Yes. Okay, so this one uh, is oh, unlocked w by one of the focuses. Doesn't give us good uh, bonus to research time, but it increases reliability of the equipment. So, try picking up him. Of low manpower, and yes, we're missing our light tanks. Okay, so, oh, we finished our, off our steel industry. Between 1929 and 1937, a shift from light to heavy industry took place within the Czechoslovak economy, which was caused to a significant extent by rising armament production. While mining output was, on average, about 11% of the total industrial production between 1923 and 37. The share of metallurgy rose from 5.4% in 1923 to 8.4% in 1937. Within the Czechoslovak iron and steel industry, a well-organized monopoly structure of national dimensions developed. This was probably the tightest monopoly in steel production anywhere in the world, and was based on an effective cartel organization. Okay, so we actually get uh, three sources of steel in three separate... Uh, provinces. All right. Now these unlock building slots, which could be helpful, but uh, isn't going to help us fight off the Germans, unfortunately. Just wondering if anything else. Mm -hmm. Probably should do him just to get the theorist. Land doctrine. I should have probably done that as well. Hmm. Okay, so let's go down here. Or yeah, this is all political. Although, might be nice to get. We need one of them. 70 days. 35. Okay, well, let's just get some help. Okay, let's see how many more men we can crank out. Not too many. Yep, still missing equipment. What am I building? I'm still working on forts. Darn it. Yeah, we're definitely not going to have our level 5 forts all throughout the territories. Probably be able to finish off these uh, level 3s, yeah. Probably get up to level four. But unfortunately, I'm not sure if that's going to be good enough. Especially once we spread throughout here. Oh, we really need more, more equipment. Which means more factories. But we haven't been building any because we've been spending all of our time building f forts. Hmm. And I cannot go to war economy. Although once we declare, once we're uh, declared upon, 
won't be a problem. Hmm. So how are we spread out? Got two in every province. Of course, once we get these extra. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more provinces on our border. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, send some of these guys out. I don't care if you don't all have guns. Anschluss of Austria. So, would have been kind of nice if they'd have uh, fought. Might have slowed them down. Okay, support artillery would be nice. Extra NCOs. Give us a slight boost in our population. Now <laughs> we're down less than 10,000 extras. Okay. Okay, let's see what he does. Yep, demand sedate land. So, okay, we can now extend our border. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's see. Yeah, oh my goodness. Oh. He has a lot of units. Let's join faction. Oh, nope, not tense enough. Darn it. May, June, July, August. Yeah, three more months. That's. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Only every second or third man is going to have a rifle. Walk behind someone and pick it up when he falls. Oh, and we are almost out of manpower as well. So. probably won't help and it would be kind of suicidal to move off of the forts anyways but Yay, we got uh, 63,000 more guys. Okay, oh. everybody. I'm trying to see. Control click. There we go. I'm just experimenting with borders. Okay. And oh boy, fifth column established in Czechoslovakia. So basically, Germany's sending secret spies and troublemakers into uh, Czechoslovakia. 
few weeks before the Munich conference, Hitler made a speech at a Nazi party rally in Nuremberg on the Sudeten crisis, in which he condemned the actions of the government of Czechoslovakia. Hitler denounced Czechoslovakia as being a fraudulent state that was in violation of international law's emphasis of national self-determination, claiming it was a Czech hegemony, hege hegemony? where neither the Germans, the Slovaks, the Hungarians, the Ukrainians, nor the Poles of the country actually wanted to be in a union with the Czechs. Okay, so now it says population uh, factor reduced, but um, doesn't really seem to affect much, but... Not much. Okay. Another month or so. Be able to finish our partial mobilization. I believe this gives us uh might change us to uh war economy. Oh probably yeah, partial mobilization. That makes sense. Boy, boy, boy. Yeah, some places I only have one. Let's move over there. Oh, boy, boy. Yeah, I just don't have men. Put them out! I don't care if they're little kids. Need bodies. Okay. Mobilization. Did we finish her? Nope. Now, this is uh, some uh, event basically shortly before Munich Conference. Czechoslovak leadership rejects the French, the British French suggestion for the Czechoslovakia to cede the Sudeten to Germany. State of emergency and general mobilization was declared soon after. Mobilization order applied to about one and a quarter million soldiers, which included reservists called up earlier for various exercises. Response to the announcement of uh, general mobilization was extremely fast. First reservists reported for duty just a few minutes after hearing the decree from the radio, and the influx of soldiers increased rapidly in following hours. During the night, the army took control and guarded key strategic buildings and military units performed to war organization. Let's hope so. Oh yeah, just switch to service by requirement. So now we got uh, 600,000. Oh, come on. As long as if we have two people in every tile... There's four guys here, and we don't even, it's not terribly important to protect that. Okay, a whole bunch of stuff happens. Okay, this is the Munich uh, Agreement. German demands for our territory in the city and land region have become increasingly hostile and now their forces are massing along our border. The conference is being held in Munich where European leaders are discussing its future, the future of Czechoslovakia. We haven't been invited. Both the British and French have rescinded their earlier promises to support us against German aggression. Diplomats have made it clear that if we choose to resist the Germans, we do so on our own. Perhaps we have no choice but to surrender the sedate land. Now, okay, so this would basically uh, surrenders the sedate land, but you know it's not going to stop them. Uh, so might as well never surrender. Oh, Italy announces claims on Yugoslav territory. This is our focus for partial mobilization. Oh, okay, so it doesn't uh, change the mobilization. Um, Claiming hostile military maneuvers by the Wehrmacht, 
during the night of 20th, 21st, May 1938, although it's June. So we're running a little bit behind. The Prague government responded to reports of German military concentrations along the Czechoslovak border and passed a decree which instructed the Minister of National Defense, Frantisek uh, Matznik, sorry if i mispronouncing, to call up reservists and, and pre-selected uh, military specialists. So, gives us a little bit more uh, recruitable population, reduces consumer goods. Okay, so basically we are now just waiting to see if still can't do that. Well, here is our C. Okay, let's see how quickly they declare war. Forces. Approximately how many do they have? Wow, yeah. 60, 80, wow, yeah. <laughs> we have 72, and a lot of them are like just people with sticks, literally. Oh boy. Okay, what are their, uh, doo -doo -doo. anything else? Artillery, tank. Oh, yes. Hmm. Okay, so they have their war goal. Oh, here we go. Oh boy. Okay, so they got, you know, three, four, five on each tile. So they easily outnumber us. As I said, they start to bomb our forts, so let's see if, yep, there they are. Thankfully, we repair them pretty quick, but. <laughs> yep, we got men, just no equipment. Oh, wow, we're actually good for support equipment? Wow, what is this craziness? Okay, so, um, oh, here they are, okay, okay, you guys, why do I have five over there, any other red zones, I don't care about that one. Get over there, we can't... Because once we lose a province, we're going to lose that fort. History of, meanwhile, history of Czechoslovak Air Force. In October 1915, former Czech members of Austro-Hungarian squadrons met on the Zofin Island of, in Prague. At that time, nobody knew they were founding one of Europe's distinguished air forces. Many enthusiast men, enthusiastic men gathered around Sergeant Kostroba. But there were no planes to fly. The new Air Force was helped significantly by a French donation of 127 aircraft. For a modern nation surrounded by potentially hostile neighbors, without access to the ocean, the Czechoslovak leadership needed to build a capable Air Force. So was born the motto, Air is our sea. The Czechoslovak government between the wars balanced a homegrown aviation industry with licensed licensing engine and aircraft designs from allied nations. Several major aircraft companies and a few engine companies thrived in Czechoslovakia 
during the 1930s, includes, including Avia, Aero, and state-controlled Litov. So this will give us uh, Air Doctrine uh, bonus. Oh boy. Okay, got our guys there, but still, I don't know why they, uh, where are these fellows? Don't need them all there. Oh, now we're still losing. Okay, anywhere else? Oh boy, down here. You get over there. Okay. Ooh. You guys can retreat. Oh boy. Oh. Why are you losing? Oh, they're getting. Oh wow. Oh, they. No. See here. Oh, yeah, we're losing now. Hmm. Nope. Holy cow. Okay, guys. Um, pull out. Okay, it looks like they're trying to retreat. Yeah, they're just running over us with their tanks. Oh, hey! <laughs> Constitutional reforms are done. Oh, now we get our defense bonus. Oh, boy. So, yeah, they're, oh wow, um, hello, you guys, uh, take half of you, go defend the capital, oh, it's paused, okay, get out of this pocket, Boat. Half of those guys. I keep forgetting to stop the pause. Oh, 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 no. Curses, wow. Ah, <laughs> origins of French military mission in Czechoslovakia. Shortly after declaration of its independence, a military mission was called into Czechoslovakia in order to help build an army and train commissioned military officers. The first test of the army came in 1919 with the brief war with Hungary over Slovakia. When the war was over, Pele was experiencing a period of great popularity among Czechoslovak public. Okay, so we have another choice. Lose political power, but we get 
access to the theorist who gives us good grand battle plan doctrine bonus. Um, or we gain can gain army experience, but rather spend the the I have lots of political power here, so that's not much of a concern. Oh man, see I, these guys are just they're out of organization, so they Sog submits to Italy. Okay. And I just have no forces down here with which to uh, resist them. Most of my forces are up here. Nope. Okay. Cut off these tanks. So they're shifting their troops around. I might be able to uh Okay. Haha. <laughs> might be able to catch them unawares. Of course they're just oh wow. Yeah, these guys are basically... Okay, Bata phenomenon. Thomas Bata, who had been manufacturing shoes since 1894, developed a large-scale manufacturing factory in Zilln, Moravia, using the mass production techniques of the Ford Motor Company and the tenets of Taylorism. His firm became the largest exporter of shoes throughout the world for almost in the entire decade before World War II. After the tragic death of Tomas Bata in 1932, his half-brother Jan Ant Antonin Bata took control of the company and in the following years gained the nickname the King of the Shoes. So, uh, this is the Bata company, Infor some information about them. And we gain one civilian factory. So... Mm. Yeah, we've most lost of uh, most of our civilian factories, so those guys out. No, that's losing. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just they're, they're always moving their troops around, so... Ah, fifth column. Not that, uh... Not sure exactly how that would, uh... Affect us now with... Oh, no. Oh, crap. Oh, haha. Now, if these guys would stop attacking me... No, that doesn't work. I'm trying to... seem to be happy with having us pinned in here. We could just, uh... fight our way out of here. Doesn't look like that worked. Just need to okay, haha. -ha. the little victories you gotta savor. Or you have the Litov Company. The Litov Company is the oldest aviation manufacturer in former Czechoslovakia and was founded originally in 1918 by the Ministry of National Defense as a state-controlled aircraft repair firm for World War I planes inherited by the Czechoslovak Air Force. Okay, so what do we get? Oh, these equipment variants. Uh, that's interesting. Unfortunately, I think they're all variants on the um, the interwar fighter. You can have a look. See, we have a bunch of them. Oh, air attack goes up a little bit. Agility, but unfortunately we <laughs> yeah, lost, oh no, these guys have cut off, oh, we gotta try to, uh, can we go this way, no, we're being attacked, wow, yeah, we're being attacked on, oh, we're trying to attack, ouch, no, that don't work. Gotta defend the capital. Okay, we can hold them off, but slight. Oh, 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 no, no. Our new How dare you No, that doesn't work. Come on. Those tanks. Oh, uh, break out this way! Wow, look at make it move faster than I can. He just zipped around, and now he's coming back. Wow. Okay. Let's see if we can take over there. Ah, we drove him away. try to force them back here, although this is where all of our forts are. OK. 
Okay, let's see if we can reclaim this territory. Rightful, uh... Oh, 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 oh. Wow, are we... No, we're being attacked, so... They won't let us move out of there. No. Okay, we got our infantry equipment. Maybe let's get some of this anti-tank. Wow, okay, yeah, we, uh... Ha! Go away! almost I am curious nope oh yeah still no not enough tension in the world I guess okay so we split off half of that go that way Uh, so how are we doing? Well, we're making them pay for it. Oh, no, they forced us back again. Okay, we're almost about to take back the territory. Hopefully. Yes. Kind of wish it would uh, more evenly balance out the uh, forces because we got large stacks in some places. Okay, we got our extra research slot. Okay, so what can we research? Might as well research our airplanes. No, that's Austria. We don't want that. We're just interested in reclaiming Czechoslovakia. Okay. Looks like we're attacking across a river. Oh, did they force us back again? Hmm. Oh, we took Bruno back. Oh, no. 
We don't care about Australia. Austria. Or Australia, actually. No. Don't care about that either. We want this tile, that tile. Actually, clear these off. Okay, got that back. Oh, we lost this one now, too. Oh, that ain't good. Okay, we'll fight him off there. Fight him off here. Okay, let's see if we can retake that. Nope. Czechoslovak armament export. Czechoslovakia has long been one of the world's leading exporters of weapons to the developing world. Through the sales of arms, Czechoslovakia was able to make a profit, stimulate the industrial economy, and form a closer political relations with the states that purchased its arms. As early as 1920s, Czechoslovakia was an aggressive uh, exporter of arms. Two companies, Zabrov, sorry, Brno and Škoda, were the crucial exporters in the production and export activities of the arms companies, were coordinated and non-competitive and often had a form of cartel. Okay, so what do we get? Armament exports, research time bonus, and trade deal. I'm not sure, I think that's just... When you're t doing trade, there's this influence, and like, depending on uh, how well they like you, I guess you're further in line. But okay, we've done that. Field test new tank models. Okay, no, okay. Let's see if we can push back here. Yeah, I think. Okay, well, kind of stable. Oh, oh, we're losing. We need more guys there. Where are they all going up to there, I wonder? Oh, crap. We just lose Pilsen. Oh, boy. Well, it looks like we're about to take it back. So there. Take that. Maybe we can, uh, nope. Nope. Okay, let's see if we can, uh, make any progress over here. Still holding Burno. Oh boy. <sighs> okay. Nineteen thirty nine. That as well. Um would like to do this <laughs> if I ever uh... and this is better for leg infantry and tanks well 
I often go down infiltration, so I'm gonna take assault. Okay, uh, come on, you guys can't take those two guys. Of course, they're in my forts if they fixed it up. Really sucks. Damn, and I can't uh, push on these three either. Okay, well, let's kick out. Oh, oh well, well. <laughs> uh, kick out more newbies. Oh, they took, they retook Pilsen. Come on, if we could just get that fort back. No. Not happening. Military Aviation School in Prostodrov. Prostodrov. History of Czechoslovak military aviation education has almost a century of tradition and date ba dates back to 1919 when it was founded as the Flight School in Prague. In 1920, Cheb became a major center of military aviation education established, but uh, in 1927 the aviation school was eventually moved to a newly built facility Prostyov and renamed to Military Aviation School. So, uh. Ah! We get a free flying fighter ace. Not that it'll last very long. And some doctrine bonuses. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, let's get some. Yeah, I think we're having the problem that we just can't uh, replace our strength here. China has capitulated. Okay, no, no, no. Let's see if we can just... Oh, no, wow. He even attacking all at once there. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah! Help us out, Britain! Join the Allies! Yes, yes, yes. Ha ha! Eat it, Germany! Okay, so let's just abandon this attack. We need to try to conserve our strength. See, the interesting thing with being surrounded is <laughs> so you can shoot all directions. Um, actually, no, nah, because... Uh, there's this factor called interior lines where if you have enemies on two sides uh, and if you have good infrastructure you can easily move troops back and forth so the smaller our pocket is here as long as we have some production capability uh, we can try to uh, quickly move troops wherever they're needed so Yeah, let's just get guns. How are we doing? Well, we're losing, but we're still in it. And we're making them pay for it. So, hopefully France here can help me out and... Uh, have they? Nope. Nope. But Britain often likes to uh, do naval invasions, so...
Kind of a truce here. Ania cedes Bessarabia to the Soviet Union. Let's see if we can do a little sneak attack here. Nope. Oh, they're in my forts. Darn them. Don't need you there. Down here, maybe we can move back here. Ringoffer, Tatra. The orgi origins of Tatra date back to 1850 when Ignac Sestella begins the production of carriages and coaches with two journeymen in Koprivnice, Nesseldorf. After 1918, the name of the Koprivnice company was changed from Nesseldorf for Wag Wagenbau. At that time, the management of the company moved from Vienna to Prague after a call from the Czechoslovak state authorities. In 1919, the Tatra brand appeared on vehicles for the first time. Order new trucks. We get a... Moravia. Hopefully we still control that. Uh, okay. Oh, in motorization effort, a cheaper motorized cost. So, uh, that'll be nice. Hmm... Might as well start uh, building up highways. Come on. We can do this. Nope. No, we can't. And we're losing over here. So, forget that. Move back over there. Oh, did, oh they also kicked us out here. Oh, oh, oh. they falling back. Nope. Too quick. There we go. We can fight infantry. He's out of organization anyways. So. We still can't get him out of Pilsen though. Uh, no. Wow. I wonder... No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. Did they move their tank out of there? Come on, guys. You can do this. Just have to hold them off until uh, the Allies save us. They push in. <laughs> okay, they've got one province. Wow, even Luxembourg is uh, holding them off. Just need to keep leading them. Yeah, we took back Pilsen. All right, that feels good. Let's see. Maybe we can... Uh, nope. Maybe we can take back that. Nope. That's the problem. If they take over the fortresses, they can just rebuild them and then uh, use them. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. Not sure where I sent them. Take half of you. Oh, come on. Here we took it. Okay, maybe you can push into there. Okay, we don't have many factories left. But we're... okay. Uh, no. We're going to make the best use of the ones we have. So, we only need a thousand more days and we'll have everybody... Come on. Get in there. Want Pilsen back. We want that tile back. 
I don't know if it's good for anything, but... Oh, civilian industry. If it's from Czechoslovakia, we want it. Okay, haha. Losers. Come on, Berlin, uh, Britain. Just do a naval invasion. Eastern claims. Going after uh, Poland. Haha! -ha! We did it. Select half of them. Attack into there. Is that one of my fortresses? No. Still part of Moravia. Hmm. I think. Come on. Yes, just flood them with bodies. More men than bullets. If we can force them out of there. Get our fort back. Claims memo. So, ah. Oh, they took another. France is going one bit at a time. Oh, oh. 98. Come on, guys. Get that and then reinforce them. Okay, good. Yeah, look at that. Got our fort back. Good job, guys. I'm proud of you. Still have these guys squatting in our turf. No, no, no. Should attack them. Okay, fighter plane. Let us do this. Now, I think typically it's divided. Strategic bombers here, fighters and close air support here, heavy fighters and tactical bombers here. I think that's the roughly how they, but I don't know. You get a lot of bonuses either way, so might as well get them started. Okay, no. No. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, go France. Kinda, I think. Chemical industry of Czechoslovakia. The origins of Czech chemical industry date back to 1856, when the joint stock company named the Austrian Association for Chemicals and Metallurgical Production, ACMEP, was established at the Palace of the Duke of Schwarzenberg in Vienna, the center of the then Austrian Empire. It took only one year to start chemicals production in the small provincial town of Ossing, Usti nad Labem. The established company had a key influence on forming the structure of the Bohemian chem chemicals industry during the Industrial Revolution, as well as in the 20th century, and on the development of the city itself. So here we get ooh, a civilian factory, hopefully in our territory. And bonuses for synthetic resources. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, ooh. Ooh, rubber. And we get could get another research slot. But let's go for explosives. Ooh, rocketry. Uh oh. Japan. Okay, bring it, Japan. Oh. We're starting to... Are we still on service by requirement? Yeah, we're just going to run out of men soon. Let's see if we can uh, take back some of this territory, though. 
because it looks like Germany is getting distracted. Oh, see, Japan is already here. Oh, if we could take back that fort, it'd be so nice. Almost wonder, what am I building here? Okay, just repairing stuff. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, we gotta take back those. Okay, but we're working on it. Aha, we got it back. Awesome. All right, so now. Okay, well, I think I'll have to uh, take a break here. Well, the invasion happened, just like we expected. Unfortunately, we weren't able to hold them at bay. Just didn't have enough uh, troops, I guess. Had pretty good uh, forts, but with them outnumbering us sometimes three to one, just was... Uh, too difficult. It might be an option to f just forego the forts, try to build uh, min military factories, so you can just build so many guns, and then uh, just try to have, you know, 80, 90, or even 100 units. But um, I will keep trying until we run out of men to man the defenses. So. I hope you will join me next time when we continue the war uh, against Germany. Hopefully uh, the Allies will come to our rescue. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.